Could it be one of the biggest meetings of the year, Nick? I think so. Matt, it is the biggest meeting of the year. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. And here comes the main man. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for 209. It's Tom O, Tom Waller, and 207, Laura Waller. Very, very smart. Some great drivers out there. We've got the world champion out there, Jack Overy as well. But some of the old drivers making their way back out there to go soon afford it. It's really good and it's, it's great to have an atmosphere like it, isn't it? It makes a buzz. It certainly does. Listen, it puts it into reality, doesn't it? I know we've all been around the pits, but when you see them coming out onto the track like this, with the weather like it is and the effort that people are putting 12 months on after what was a, a remarkable weekend last year, you must be over the moon. Oh, definitely. To, to do this again with this amount of cars in 2023, unreal. Absolutely right. I mean, there's some stunning machines. We won't put you on the spot with your favourites because so many people have put in a lot of effort. Let's talk about yours and Laura's because I know Laura, she could pick up a spanner, but I don't think she could use one. First time she sat in it was the day. Wow, OK. How was that, Laura? Not great. <laughs> and how do you feel going into this weekend? Yeah, I'll do what I can do. That's about it. You go out there and enjoy it. I know you get a big cheer, that is for sure. Uh, and Labrooks are offering 50 to 1 that you'll beat Tom in a race. <laughs> yeah, don't bet on that. Ladies and gentlemen, please give Tom Laura and all our drivers around him a massive round of applause. The effort that these guys have put in is just remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. So we're here with Ross Coleman, 476, who yeah. <laughs> quite possibly has the car of the meeting, if not the year, uh, behind him. Tell us a little bit about it, because you put a little bio online about, about it, but yeah. let's just tell the audience at home. Yeah, uh, it's an Austin 18 uh, ambulance. There's, I think there was only 12 made, there's only four left. Um, the other three are in museums. This one I bought off eBay. Um, yeah. Just gonna smash it up to be fair. Yeah, they was in. These were based in London during the Blitz. Um, other than that, I don't really know a lot about them. Other than yeah, it looks cool, and I thought I need to own it. I mean, I've seen you pull some things out of hedges and ditches before. Where was this? Because if an eBay buy sounds relatively sensible compared with some of your others. This was on the side of a hill in Bristol with sheep crawling all over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was fun. To be fair. I mean, it's not got much to it. Um, how much work has gone into it? Because there's pretty much no floor in the back at all, and it looks very rickety from the front as well. Yeah, um, these are quite easy to build, to be fair, because there's not a lot. All you have to do is uh, put a load, like the you know, four post cage in, and then other than that, everything else just follows, you know, engine box prop shaft. But you in, if you had an A60, you have to weld the A60 up. You know, this, you don't even worry about body work, it's just going to fall off. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, Many cable ties underneath, or is it just <laughs> a bit of everything? Cable ties, screws, pop rivets, yeah, seatbelt, you name it.
going, you can't see where he's going, but give it a round of applause. Is he going to the tube though? So through they go, 5-5-2, five, five, still leads the way. Cal Douglas onto the back, straight big hit up there, and a lot of damage uh, being done on the roadside. Bear, oh my word, look at that. Big damage in heat number one. 157 uh, Lee Gower, who was in second at one point in the back of the car, is wrecked. It's halfway next time. Car number eight goes through, and it's still 552 who leads away. Just, you know, we could be yet in for a grandstand finish. If 673 can dispatch the ghost, and easier said than done. But uh, for the moment, Gary looking safe and well in what is now his familiar green colours. I don't think he used to race in that all those years ago. Right, two, four, oh, big shot from the buzzer. And seven, one, five, one, Callis, and they all go in underneath there. Laurel Wallach and heavily stuck in. He's getting involved down there. The bumpers are being traded. Luke Webb goes in on Laura Waller. And the buzzer, oh goodness me, the buzzer with an absolute stonking shot to Luke Webb. So Webb he gets it. There we go. It's old Boris Egg getting stuck in as well. 85, James Ellis. So Ellis comes to the inside. And here we go. Oh, we all train in then. Over the far side of Sideways Jim, Joe Paul getting stuck in, and 242 Corpiella. Oh, and in we go, Caton with a huge shot down there as well. Tom, Tom Clark is heavily involved in 354, and in we go. That was superb from Jarvis on 354, and ladies also going in. Red flags, please, Mr. Sada. Red flags, please. Red flags, please. We've got the beat down the back straight. He's coming on the 761 uh, that uh, leads the way. 761. It's Nathan Breeze out front leading the way. And the line goes on the 179. Mark Boy has got some action down here as 238 gets uh, spun aside at the start of the party. Being uh, Cody Butty there. We've got 238 in there yeah, as well. Uh, right, a race goes on. 761 is your leader, just going through now. 170 in Rushton, his second 155. Going in for a big hit on uh, Tony McNeil with 547. And here comes another, it's 
28. In they go. They're following the up just by the uh, pier gate here. 164 for the Northern Bangers. They get stuck in there. To roll the backs out. Are just about moving. Oh, it's three eight four still moving. This big rover down here just moved, but he's not really going anywhere, is he? Everything broken on that one. Somehow, some way, it does move. Eight sixty. That one is now, but he's still got a bit of speed. He's got more than everybody else, I think. And here he comes down the track, and he's really going for the Burrows boys this time on two one seven. Here we go, then the big final is on the way. The cars charge up into the corner. The front of the grid is already in the back of the grid. It's a lap scorer's nightmare. The big final here at Milton Hall Stadium tonight. There are cars everywhere. Leaders coming down the back straight, 4.55. Trying to come through, looks like six, seven, three. That's an estimate as they come across the line here. Right, John Swamra coming over for victory. Oh. John, congratulations once again. Two time champion now. You've won the reunion as well, can't be bad. No, you can't ride it, can you? You know what I mean? You can't ride it. No, absolutely not. The day, just to have a good day, not expect yeah. nothing. But what happens, happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, you never know, you might get tomorrow out of it yet as well. Yeah, I will. I will get tomorrow out yeah. of it. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, absolutely. It sounds good to us, doesn't it, Tom? Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah. At the moment, it's, uh, look at the progress of Colin Reed. He's going well out there in the Mark II Granada. Looking very good out on the raceway, but it's Leonard Dunn who still goes wrong. Roger tries to make a move down there as well. Old Mikey gets turned around. So Winter tries to get himself back into the ice ring. Thinks, what's going on with Leonard Dunn? He's gone wide down there. So oh, a huge shot from 281 Tingle, 355 Aidenwood. I think we've got a puncture for Leonard Dunn, and it's Mark Marshall who comes back through. Oh, and in we go then, John Golden on the back of Aaron Dark down there. Oh, and Dark, he's all over the place down there, as young Aaron. As Callum Jacob nips the infield down to get the speed. Where's Chunky going? Oh, here we go, Matt Millen. Got Dave Smith down here, right. Here we go then. Oh, we got Andy Takers then. Freddie been down here. Baby face gets stuck in. Oh, goodness me, what a teammate from Aiden Gamble. Got Jake Smith, 817. Kurt Jacobs goes in on Gamble. And Jordan Cumming goes in as well. So Aaron Dark gets played up by 625 from Gucci. And then uh, Dark gets spun around as well. Magic all out of sorts down there. Callum Jacobs now. In a whole world of pain as he limps to the other. Oh, Tom, what a that was huge! On oh, Smithy, and here comes Gamble. No, no, I got carried away. Right, Matt Millen, no, he's going to take it. Huge from Millen. So Millen gets sorted out down there. Gucci trying to get back into it as well. Gamble rolls on, 133. Turns there as well, 439. Danny Sutton then gets involved. Sid Madrid trying to get himself sorted out. Max Ian, he's on a turnaround and oh, and in we go. Halfway next time, Mr. Starter. Trouble five, Gelt swapping on the back of Tidy McNeil. So we continue to roll on. Five next time, Mr. Starter. Five next time for 133. Terry Hill absolutely flying around here and building all. Look at him. Goodness me, absolutely. And Matt Millen, I think he's managed to get out of that down there in 3 one, 2 John Reynolds. Oh, Josh Gooch goes in on Matt Millen. Is he? Is he? No! Oh! Crikey! Is he? Is he? No! Oh! Crikey! He's raced away from the rest. Terry Hill just going through there in 1.33. Here he comes, your leader. Final here today, the Kent Waller Memorial meeting on Bank Holiday Monday. It's a big win for Callum Reed and uh, Sonny Sherwood on Tom Waller down in the corner. And Steve McGrath from Sonny in 388. Oh, and 363 storming into the 170 car. Ricky Beasley down here too. 
He storms it. Oh, big, big hit there from uh, Cummins in 570 Dino Jr. That is a really strong roller, that 570 car. The Reds are now out. The boys want to keep going, but uh, it's time to stop play for the moment at the end of our feature final. Please put your hands together. 32, it's Callum Reid. Callum, well done. <laughs> Cracking stuff in there. You threw it around. In the <laughs> threw it around in the heat, mate. Really put it to good use. You just about. Well, I mean, in the heat, you come from nowhere, really. I said in commentary that you were coming from absolute mile away to get the race win, and then backed it up with a strong performance in this one. Yeah, now we rode a lot today with the Granada, definitely. <laughs> it might run out in the next one, though. You never know. Listen, it could be a hat trick. Oh, I don't know about that. Not now. Not now. I don't get that lucky. Be over the moon to win it, though. Yeah, it's nice. So, fair play to everyone for coming on a good weekend. You know, the weather's looked after us, isn't it? So, we can't ask for much more.